I know, I know how to press buttons, trust me. I, I know which ones I'm pressing. Anyway, welcome, welcome. It is, um, Saturday, the 5th of October. Happy, happy new month, everyone. Um, hello. Uh, we've still got Quirrell in the corner because I, I just, th I just think it's neat, you know? Um, I might move him into the other corner so he's not, like, in the way of chat, but I th actually, I, th I think that's fine. Yippee! So hyped for October. Yeah, for real. My brother gets older this month as well, so that's cool. Also, it's Inktober, um, which is very cool, and some of you have already seen... Thank you, Quantum Cat. So, some of you have already seen on, like, TikTok and stuff uh, what I've done for for Inktober so far. And it's this this drawing, which I'm, I'm very happy with. I uploaded it onto Instagram and the TikTok, and TikTok far and away was incredible to the to the um to the video it's got 2000 it's got 1928 views as a present with 109 likes and i'm <laughs> nothing else has performed that well on any social media i i i did find in general um tiktok is better than instagram for for reels uh, especially from what I've seen, because my best performing reel on Instagram is like maybe a hundred, maybe two hundred views, and that's the and that's the same amount as my least viewed one on TikTok. So I think I'll, I, if I am gonna um, uh, continue with shorts, uh, I'm just gonna do basically re-uploading my TikToks onto Instagram. Um, that would be the long and short of it. But yeah, it's been good. Um, so today, <laughs> you want to make Waterline James fan out for Inktober? Go for it. Squirrel is here. Yes, he's in the corner. It's that one. Yes, my boy. <laughs> my my boy Squirrel. <laughs> um, yeah, and um, today I was uh out and about as it were i was at a model united nations conference uh today um i won't say which one so i don't dox myself but i did steal the placard afterwards so um how do i use to like block it oh my god <laughs> oxford university playing cards will not dox me i was the grand nation of rwanda <laughs> Um, oh, Geometry Dash event, do enjoy. Yeah, I, I represented the grand nation of Rwanda um, in it, in Ecofin, which is like environment, not, not environment, it's economy. What does, what does it even stand for? What kind of style for Mezian doth thou desire? Shout out Rwanda. <laughs> I, I really don't mind. Uh, I, I'm just like, even the thought of someone making fan art is wild, actually. So I don't, I don't, I really don't care. Ecofin is the Economic and Financial Affairs Council. Yeah, so I represented Rwanda, and it it went pretty well. We had two very interesting topics. Uh, one was um, to do with artificial intelligence and its threat to the people, and um, <laughs> good, good. I, it, I, I, I would be concerned if it was actually. Now that I think of it, um, and second, and the other one was slightly less interesting, and it was um, thingy. Um, protecting international energy sources from like oh fuck <laughs> from um like existential threats like terrorism or natural disasters so um yeah it was really good fun debating that it was honest it was honestly it, yeah it was good fun um i i did have an early start uh, of course uh, so i was a bit tired by the end of it as as anyone would be um yeah, um, so first topic that was discussed, 
uh, the, the Grand Nation of Pakistan submitted a clause which uh, submitted a resolution. You know, it, the order of proceedings was really weird for Ecofin because we, we'd prepared, I imagine everyone prepared policy statements, which is a thing which outlines your country's um, your country's beliefs on um, the topics being discussed. So I I wrote how how many I wrote three hundred and thirty five words on it. I'll read it out now because I, I actually didn't I didn't get a chance to write it out because I uh, read it out because the chairs forgot to do so. Um, I am here today representing the nation of Rwanda. The delegate looks forward to fruitful debates on the topics to be discussed, the threat of AI on business, and protecting critical international energy infrastructure. Welcome in, bagels. Um, the delegate hopes that all nations at present will be able to help, con will be able to constructively contribute to the resolution submitted, with meaningful results garnered by the process. Rwanda believes that AI can be an exceptionally powerful tool that can help nations develop. Being the first country in Africa to legislate policy regarding the use of AI in attempt to attempt to grow the country, the country socially and economically, with uh, the national AI policy, we are very much in favour of the use of AI. Naturally, Rwanda is also of the belief that artificial intelligence must have strong, regula strong regulations surrounding it, including improved transparency and security concerning AI, as well as ensuring the use of the use of and development of AI in a way that is beneficial for all in society, aiming to minimize bias and discrimination. Uh, how is AI going to help your economy? Fuck knows, that's... I, 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 I wasn't too concerned about that, I'm going to be honest. Why? I don't know. Um, because I didn't write a resolution, that's why. Uh, regarding, the, regarding protecting critical energy infrastructure and questions of green energy, uh, the nation of, Ru of Rwanda is willing to work with other countries to build and protect energy infrastructure uh, and fr from uh, damage from sources such as natural disasters and terrorism. As Rwanda moves towards green energy, we recognize that it is critical to protect such in infrastructure from dangers uh, as described previously. Rwanda also have made some moves towards this goal. Our, nation, our National Cybersecurity Authority have made steps to ensure that the digital world as the digital world expands, uh, that digital protection exists for the infrastructure, promoting designs that are, uh, uh, and promoting designs that are resistant to extreme conditions, and building infrastructure in locations that are less likely to be affected by such, ensuring that both public and private groups have protocol prepared if a danger is posed to their infrastructure. In summary, the nation of Rwanda is looking forward, looks forward to working with international partners concerning the use of artificial intelligence and protecting key infrastructure in hopes that all the help debates held today will come to a fair result for all involved thank you <sighs> yes absolutely now that would be 10 out of 10 use <laughs> for realsies anyway yeah i read i read that out now because i didn't actually get I, I, I actually didn't get an opportunity to read it out because the chairs forgot to do that. Um, and then they followed up with not doing lobbying, which is when everyone goes around and chats with each other and you can get signatories to support your resolutions and have them submitted to be discussed later. Um, they just didn't do any lobbying at all, which was... Not a move. I'm going to be honest. That's not that's not how it works. Uh, being real, who needs who needs Rwanda's opinion on things? True, I do because it's I, it's this this is this is a fun moment. Trust. This, this is this is this is what I do for fun. This is this is this is the one. You know. <laughs> yeah. So it started off with a fairly uninspired. Um, resolution concerning um concerning artificial intelligence um an event which eventually devolved to the uh delegate of argentina basically saying this this sucks we're, we're here to discuss uh threats of ai and this does not address any of that at all uh and um I just think that's, um, 
Yeah. Oh, just... you know what? As I'm talking about it, would you know, the Secretary General has texted me. Um, how how about that? Uh, let's play Idolize. We're 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 in a we're in a Creo mood uh, today. Uh, once once it loads, give it give it a ma, a mum, give it a mum. There we go. Uh, last year for. Uh, <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he's just asking me about using two monitors uh for the for my school's Model United Nations conference that's happening at some point and uh I was not um I was not a delegate keep getting ads for Jonkler too There we go <laughs> yeah, I'm just uh, tidying that up. That's a minorly important thing that's happening. Um, then what happened? Um, the hell happened after that? Lunch happened after... Um, the resolution was scrapped. Yeah, we've ever. Uh, it was. A, I think it was a thin margin, but it was. The majority voted against it, and it didn't pass. So, um, that's how that went. That that first um. That first uh, resolution submitted. And then after that, what what happened? Lunch happened. Uh, lunch. What did we do for lunch? Um, pasta and like a bolognese, you know, like the twisty pasta. Yeah, with garlic bread. I, I fucking love garlic bread. You don't understand. Garlic bread is like the best, the best human invention. They saw sliced bread and then they made it even better. You know what I'm saying? And then, um, why, why sad ham, why sad hamster, why, why sad hamster, garlic bread is peak, um, why don't they make all bread garlic bread, good question, a very good question, would you consider, would you guys consider garlic bread to be a human right? Bagels, you can stop bringing it up. I, I garlic bread any day. Large majority of foods, anyway. I would pick garlic bread. Yeah. Lunch happened. Saw one of my saw, saw one of the teachers who was at my old school. School. Uh, he teaches at another school now, and we see him at like every man conference we go to. It's, it's pretty. It's pretty nice. Um, and uh, then what else? What, what other things? What other things do you reckon? Ooh, we could, we could have violent pur- violent purple. <laughs> Would you rather have a gazillion dollars or get shot and die? That's, that's basically what Bagels is asking. Yeah. Anyway, um, after that, what did we cover? We did... We did one concerning... We did a resolution concerning um, energy infrastructure and stuff, which was just like... Um, 
it was just a solid resolution. There was like no no major differences made to it. However, over lunchtime, the grand nation of Slovenia <laughs> and Ukraine um, decided it would be a really funny idea. Can I put Subway Surfers gameplay on screen? Um, no, I can't. Well, I could, but I can't be asked. Um, what's what's like a, a really easy game to play? What what game can I like turn my mind off to? Um, let me check my Steam. <laughs> Subway Surf stream when? Don't know. Oh, fucking play! So you know, what? I could, I could just turn off my brain to Celeste in the background. I right, just run Celeste in the corner while I'm yapping. Would you Would you guys want to see that? Can you clone your face cam? Make it twenty percent. Can I duplicate? Nope, it's going to eat my mouse as Celeste opens. Copy. Paste. Drop that down. Uh, you are going to be transform. Flip horizontal. That that's that's a sh that's a shock horror. Filters. What would what would it be? Compressor. <laughs> Effect filters. Would it be in here? Um. Could it be chroma? Chroma key, okay. No, it's not that. That's the thing you use for green screens. Crop. Image mask blend? I think this is I think this is the one. Maybe? Um, we're gonna put the the cyber grind on in the background. Blend subtraction. I I don't think that's done anything. Right, we're gonna go back to normal. Can I do the mosaic thing again? No, no, fish. I'm just not gonna do that. Um, right, where was I? Oh, yes, the great nation of Slovenia. Um, I don't want that one. I want that one. Capture Celeste. There we go. Um, I'm hunting for the crystal heart in this one. Just here to say crab. Understandable. We'll we'll be playing we'll be playing Roblox now, but for the time being, I'm just I'm yapping, and then we'll and then we're playing Roblox. They removed the Isaac emote from Twitch. How how could they? Honestly, um, I'm gonna stop the music. <laughs> Life is crab. Um, turn the music up. Yeah, so where was I? That looks that looks so breakable to me, I'm sorry. Um yes, over lunchtime, the great nations of Slovenia <laughs> tell them to bring out the Roblox, isn't it, Jeff? Why is it just Wooper here? <laughs> oh that's that was for the last stream, so I didn't dox my full name uh while I had Word open. 
Oh my god, do I, I suck at the game. Um, um, yeah, so over lunchtime, the, the Slovenian and the Ukrainian delegates thought it'd be extremely funny. No, fuck. Um, to say they re to say that they would restart the Soviet Union of all things with them installed as dictators I wish I was making this up they <laughs> please watch dun da dun, dun whatever you say um, yeah, so they wanted to restart the Soviet Union with them installed as the leaders of such. And um, surprisingly, so many people were like, shit, I guess, that's a, that's a good idea. And um, I did my very best to try and prevent it. And I realize now there's potentially one way that I could have prevented it. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, yeah, it was... It, the way, one way you could try and, like, take it away is, um, by saying this is not an eco... I, I, I tried, I tried several times to say this is not an ecofin matter. Um, it could be Security Council, it could... Also, you know, James, it could also just be this doesn't this isn't relevant to Ecofin, figure it out in your own time type thing and be done with it. But no, you had to say, isn't this a Security Council matter? They got sick of I, I imagine they got sick of my points of orders <laughs> um during that time. Also, Grillamink, you you know Celeste, right? Why is there grass in that wall? Why is there grass in that wall? Remember when you talked about your school's man? I don't remember, I'm sorry. <laughs> third third dimension. Oh right, they were like I they were just out of control, I guess. I think if I remember correctly. Yippee. Um, right, where was I? Yeah, um, so somehow a, an otherwise perfect resolution was spoiled by the Soviet Union in this day and <laughs> the Soviet Union at this time of year, at this time of <laughs> localized entirely within Ecofin, yes. May I see it? No. I suck at the game confirmed. Twice. Um, yeah, so that, that happened, and then there was a wholly uninteresting um, resolution after that. Uh, concerning AI, somehow they, <laughs> the, the members uh, managed to make what could have been a very interesting topic fairly uninteresting to discuss, and it was mostly just threats to, um, it was mostly trying to keep on topic of threats to the people, however that can just be argued against with, um, because people were kept suggesting, um, yeah, let's give people extra money if they if they've lost a job due to AI taking its place. The argument can be made. This has happened before in history. This kind of thing, where a new technology has taken people's jobs, uh, 
uh, what's the issue with it being with it happening again? Um, yeah, and um, many nations already give out that kind of unemployment benefit anyway. Am I missing any? The issue is pretty clear. Yeah. The, lar the largest issues lie with copyright. I imagine. I, I believe. Never mind. That's something I've not noticed before. I'll read that in a second. I've just noticed something. I've found it. AI is bad on, on like, very level. On, like, every level, I imagine. Yeah, it's, it's pretty bad. I'm still paranoid about how self-aware AI is. Like the the hit the hit song by the band um, Radiohead, the, their song "Paranoid Android." Wow, Wowzer James, a song you've never listened to. One of my friends won't shut up about Radiohead. Jesus Christ! Like on, honestly. <laughs> I don't listen to Radiohead specifically because he tells me about Radiohead so damn much. Paranoid Android mentioned, you're welcome. And, um... Like, the one Radiohead song that I did listen to that isn't exit music for a film... Um... Uh, was... Black Star, which was relatively uninspiring probably <laughs> uh, I'd have to give it another listen to say to say that properly but um let's go finally got one of those um I've heard creep but I haven't heard um um I don't think I've heard no surprises. And, um, what, what's the other Radiohead song I listen to? Um, he told me to listen to this one song, which was just this android uh, voice, um, saying, um, the process of the day in a really monotone voice, and it's, like, kind of depressing. Fitter, happier, that's the one. That's that's the one. Yeah, I listen. I I made the mistake of listening to that one. If we just return to map, I can go to the next area. I think I found the other one. Schlut. Yeah, if I, I... I recently got this app called Airbuds, and, um... Um... And if I look at him... Right now... Where is this guy? Uh, recently played... You by Radiohead, Don't Speak by No Doubt, and Nude by Radiohead. And... <laughs> My god. Yeah, his top artist is Radiohead. Oh, un unsurprisingly. Followed by Muse and Rage Against the Machine. He's listened to Paranoid Android 29 times, apparently. And Lucky 22 times. And Election... Election Nia, is that? Electioneering. 
21 times, no surprises 19 times, and The Tourist 19 times. That's his top five most listened to songs. Um, uh, album of the week, unsurprisingly, is OK Compu- Computer. <laughs> Average Radiohead fan on one Instagram. Muse is known as a Radiohead copy, so that so it's like they take first and second place. What the fuck is let down? <laughs> I'm going to tell him that actually. <laughs> he spent a thousand minutes listening to Radiohead. He sp- for and then and then he spent <laughs> he spent five hundred listening to Muse, and then forty three listening to Rage Against the Machine. I, I think there was some way you could see um, someone's uh, someone's like most listened their position in like uh, an artist's crowd or whatever. It, however you say it, how how much um, uh, like their position like out of all of the users on Airbuds, I think it is. Um, where do they, where they, where do they fit on, on that? And he was like number number two Radiohead listener. There's someone, there's someone more dedicated to Radiohead than him somehow. Um, is he online? Is he online right now? I need to argue with him. Let, let's check. Is he online on Discord? He is not, unsurprisingly. Um, I I will um. I will be letting him know of of your thoughts. Thank you, Quantu Cat. Much appreciated. We're discussing a certain person's listening habits. Um, then again, it, uh, Airbuds did Airbuds did say I was the n- number one listener of Eurobeat in the last <laughs> in the last week. Um, so take that how you will. And that's mostly because I've only really listened to my EDM playlist since um, since joining Airbud. I'm the number one Gavin's Beats listener. <laughs> number one Space Panda listener. Boing. There's something up here. Sorry, this didn't. I didn't mean to turn this into a Celeste stream. Hang on. I thought there was something up here. Never mind. over here. Have I been up there? Why I have not. And there's a berry, which I haven't gotten yet. Where am I going? Sorry, I'm slightly sidetracked. But I think that's all of the yapping. Um, all of my yapping done. You know, he's he's even said to me, "Let down, underrated." There, I see.
Never mind, there's something there. Son of a bitch. How do I even get in there? Oh, there. Isn't it as underrated as 15 steps? I could just get him on a call right now and like have you guys uh, argue, argue your points. I'm literally John Celeste. <sighs> Look at me. I am I'm just the greatest there ever, there has ever been. Right, we're going to get we're going to get to like spooktober stuff now. Because it's it's spooky season. We're not climbing a mountain. <laughs> So we're putting the cyber grind back on. Um, let's go, Roblox. Yeah. Let 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 it load. Honestly, I'm surprised you guys listen to like Radiohead and Chile. Actually, am I that surprised? Um. We have a very diverse music taste in this chat. I believe we can listen, we can definitely listen to like the large majority of songs in this, in this, in this chat, as it were. We are releasing a new album in rainbows. Can the panel tell me? Can the panel tell me? Can can the can the panel tell me? Tommy Hawk is not a real person. I swear to God. The game, the game is booting up now. Be a window capture of Roblox player. Uh, Wooper, you can sit in this corner instead. I think. No, you can. You, you can. You can sit in the corner here. You're my friend now. We're having soft tacos later. Whoopa! Is isn't it isn't it great? I fucking love Whoopa. Whoopa is like the best, the best Pokemon. No, no shadow of a doubt. All right, let's go. Uh, we, we're gonna we're gonna solo we're gonna solo we're gonna solo this. Watch me. I'm I'm just the greatest. Xiao Ling, goodbye. And Luffy O2. Dom just takes you to a different planet, man. I want to I want to sing like him. Well, anyone can sing. Like the 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 song. Anyone can play guitar. I, I'm I'm tired, man. I, I I've had a I've had enough of hearing about Radiohead. That that's 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 why, that's why I don't listen to them. He he's he's the actual reason I don't listen to them at all. I think I'm just gonna go in. He wears me out. 
Radiohead is a listening experience, and he makes it exponentially different. Goodbye. Uh, we should, like, change the category real quick. Chat, what do you think of an Ultra Kel stream? Would that would that be cool? Let me in. Guess I'll take that. Fine, I'll take a key card. Mm -hmm. No, I was listening to exit music to No one thing one thing with Radiohead. I I I can't hear anything he says. And then I look up the lyrics to to hear what he's saying. And it's like I can maybe see that being said in the lyrics. But honestly. I don't even know what to, what to make of it anymore. And uh, we have one in everlasting face. Good heavens. He didn't need to go that hard for a song. Like, genuinely. Money. Give me your money. What? Oh, goodness gracious. Bro, I don't even understand what's happening. I think a doors entity might be attacking it. That's that's very on the nose of you. Hello, hello back. I'm I'm James. Uh, we were just discussing Radiohead of all things. Monies. We're rich. Thank you. Yippee. Yippee. We'll take a flashlight. Sure, I guess. Be whatever you want it to be. No, Matt, I fucking hate like wall dwellers. They've been my least favorite entity to go up against so far. Bloody hell. Thank you.
man. We're rich. Fuck. We'll see if one sparks. One of them should spark sooner rather than later. Else we'll give them a listen. Doesn't sound like anything behind there. Bloody hellfish. I'm just going to go out on a limb and say it's this one. Never mind. Fuck you, painter. I was, in fact, gotten, yeah. Ooh, containment. <laughs> Lead pipe timing should have been earlier. True, true. Nice. What are those bells for? Should have guessed. This working week, please. Thank you. We'll just head straight through. It is, in fact, a W game. However, I would like it if this guy stopped staring at me. Thank you. I'd like to loot to the room, please. For a battery, I can use later. And we actually have something we can use it on for fucking change. Screws borrowed from aunt. And, um... Death in a box. Actually. Squiddle. Fuck, man.
I would love a medic bag right about now. To be perfectly honest. Are we ready? Those are noises that I really don't want to hear. Let's go. Normas. Oh, brilliant. Oh, even better. Where the fuck do I go? I'm safe. How about that? I'm just better at the game. Does that mean he went through the right door? Yes, it does. Yay. Boy, oh boy, do I ever love this place. Um, what's that? That's thrown a forklift across the room. Do I want to know? Where is it? The key card. In here? Yes, it is. Um, waiter, waiter, door 30 pandemonium, please. I'm just going to hide down in this corner over here and hope for the best. We're good. A tractor. And a battery. Do we have any documents? No? Not more money. What's in here? Someone lives here. Hmm. It's 
Just a bog standard Roblox house. What's in here? Some more item lockers. And. <laughs> I have no idea what this is. It's a sensor. That's what it, we we found sensor. And what's in here? Five bucks. And it's a snowball launcher. That's incredibly heavy. Fuck you, game. And death. And like that, we are back. I'll just hold on to that. Oh man. You. Thank you, Sebastian. Yes, Sebastian, we all say in unison. It's pretty cool. What are you looking at? No, I am not giving myself schizophrenia. Interesting. I'll take a lantern. Thank you, Grilliming. Fuck you mean loud sound effect. Nothing. I know, right, fish? That's a an oddity. Um, cool, I guess. It's enough time for me to loot Goblin. What's in here? A bit of money. The man in the wall and Jeff? I don't know. We'll find out later. No! Mm -mm. He put his soul into that yoink. I'm sorry. <laughs> he needed to say yoink. Honestly. Oh, 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 it's a fitty fuzz fitty fumble. I hate you. Bang. Amen. An extremely long arm. A 
thingy my bob. Can you hear me? Do you know who you are? We can hear you. Can you hear me? Do you know who you are? This has got to be a reference to something. What is it a reference to, though? Unsure. Let's see what's over this side. No wall dwellers coming up to bite my ass. We're rich. Positively. It's a mousetrap for even bigger mice. What we would <laughs> catch pandemonium with this. Toy remotes. I would love to learn about them. I don't really want to give my. Don't mind if I do. You're welcome. Don't want to give myself schizophrenia right now. Not yet. That is the holy. That is. The the cross. Of Christianity or something. I don't know. Why is it under containment? Oh, doors reference maybe? Oh. I thought so. I should have been paying attention. Ah, dang it. <laughs> or something Zagria said. You don't have it, you can give yourself it, though. I didn't hear a word either, because I was in the middle of being jumped. Nice. We're back. And we're straight into interesting rooms. Uh, take what away? The Zagreus redeem. I can. I can do that. Schizophrenia. I would have to go back through, as I've said before, I have to go through back through the uh, the sound files and redo them to make them louder. They're as loud as I can make them on stream alerts or sound alerts or whatever it is. We're hiding in this room. Trust me, this will work. That was fine. Ah, fuck.
this is the one. Oh, I'm so good at this game. Venting? Like, in the hits game Among Us? By the hit indie devs in a sloth? Interesting. It's around here. Bloxy Cola. I wish. Man. Dang. We can use every single vent. Oh, there we are. Nice. Very cool. 500 bucks. Let's go. We're rich. I think that's it. I don't... I haven't heard that one before. <gasps> I, don't understand. I don't even understand what just happened. I think an entity tried to attack us. I know, right? <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Don't be afraid. I'm not going to hurt you, despite what you have seen, heard, and or been told. Yes. My name is Sebastian, Yay. your only friend. If I'm correct, your supervisors have told you to secure loose assets, documents, files, whatever. However, if I can make it worth your while, I'm going to ask you to cut a deal. You give me any research you might have on you. And I'll give you some of these items I've scavenged. Here, you can just pick it off my tail. Yay! These would be far more useful to you compared to some silly data, no? If you don't ask questions, I and I, you can go. Now I get my edge log, I think it might be running low. Just keep my eyes on the table next to me. Whatever you want to get going, the key card to the next zone is by the window. Free of charge? Yay! Yay! Thank you, Sasha. We're going to buy this stuff. Yay! Why is it's regular? It's playing garbage noise. Nice. In which case, I'll take a code breacher. I'll take a flashlight. I'll take a, flashlight. I'll take a fucking one of those. There aren't many of those items left down here. Be careful with that. Sweet. Um. I think I'm gonna. Nice. Very, very nice. Very cool. 
Thank you, Sebastian. Take your card. I miss you. Yeah. Five whole bucks. Staircase much. Door fifty. We're cooking. Battery. Came from the other direction. That was interesting. Take another battery. I'll take 50 more bucks. I mean, I've already passed the shop, so it doesn't matter all too much. Where is the key card? There. Let's go. One of my friends who plays this game, he's been in, on stream before, uh, Feathers Almighty. He, had, he has this habit of... Um, Falling to an inconvenient early end on those sections. Hey, Squiddle. I'm notoriously good at these areas. I actually did it. Look at me go. Thank God. Let's 
sus. Now is not a good time. I'm going to go back to the bright air area. I'm going to hide in the vents. And heal. There we go. We are all good. I literally have one of these. What am I doing? Oh, there's no fake out. Excuse me. That would be very helpful. Where am I hiding? Excuse me, game. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> this is this is why you wait. What was it this time? Pandemonium. The Pantomicon must hold. Mini game. That guy is super impatient and gives up easily. You'll get it eventually. Yeah, hopefully. All right, let's have a look at the files we discovered. Eaton, Nom, absolutely, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go look at those files we picked. We picked up a bunch of files, including Sebastian's, which is one I've been curious about for ages. But I've never had enough to um to look at it. Announcements. Oh my God, they're doing plushies. We're going to take a lovely seat. Oh, Documents. Hello. Hello. Let's have a look at hazards and monsters. The saboteur. Sebastian Solus. How about that? Z13. New code name. The saboteur. Previous code name. Handyman, real name Sebastian Solus, is to be killed on sight without hesitation. Z13 is incredibly dangerous. Caution is required if encountered. 
Despite his side, Z-13 is incredibly nimble, allowing him to quickly outmaneuver and flank operatives. It should also be noted that Z-13 is currently in possession of our experimental portable scrambler, meaning that any and all CCTVs, radios, and other communication equipment will be rendered offline within a blank-by-blank -blank stud radius of his presence. Operatives must conduct a communications check HQ with HQ every five minutes to ensure they are not within, within range of the scrambler. If HQ cannot be reached, operatives remain high for possible and possible. After feigning effects of anesthesia, Z-13 tended to come and work up unguarded during transport. He killed Elite Guardsman Blank, a cure acquiring his high clearance keycard, and proceeded to release as many monsters as possible in the containment cells, causing a site-wide lockdown. Before stealing and reconfiguring the experimental scrambler, CCT recaptured Z-13 traded stolen items for research findings from XR XP Expedition Party members. His exact motivations remain unknown, but encrypted radio broadcasts to invasion in block stop. Thank you, Quantu Cat. Deluge Lab, yippee! And Pinewood suggests he is gathering confidential urban shade information to leverage a way out of the rival organization. Although uncertain if he continues to trade with incoming parties, uh, it is highly probable. Z13 was brought in as an LRR in 2013 after he was found guilty of nine counts of murder and was sentenced to death by electric chair. He was quickly swooped up by urban shade. Shade, a fake execution report was published and Z13 was officially declared dead. In early 2015, Z13 was selected to be part of an experiment to give humans gills, using DNA strands from a blue whale, a blank, a sea snake, a great white shark, a mutated anglerfish, angler mentioned a silver spiny fish, and a mantis shrimp. Whilst the experimentation was a success and Z13 gained the ability to breathe underwater, the obvious visual and bodily side effects le left much to be desired. The side effects were quickly ironed out and refined on future test subjects, and the gill procedure was quickly applied to all guardsmen working at the black site. The initial periods following the experimentation are optimal uh, periods of following. Initial periods of following experimentation are the optim optimal times to reverse uh, uh, physical side effects. This was not deemed necessary to was LRP status. His monstrous appearance and characteristic abilities led to his classification as a 13. After this experiment, seeing, uh, seeing no further use for him in human testing as a 13, it was uh, assigned to animal equipment in 2015. It was discovered that Z13 had not killed the nine individuals he was used for, and that an innocent man had been wrongly sent to death. Despite this re revelation, he decided not to perform the 13 or release him to the public as he was legally declared deceased. At this stage, reversing the mutation was no longer feasible as the opportunity to do so had long passed. However, his rank changed to MRP, providing him with better conditions and accessible operating programs aiming to MRPs. In no circumstances can Z13 be allowed to leave the black side alive. Any operative encounters Z13 must abandon the previous objectives, and as Mr. Shade himself stated, John Shade, with John Shade, himself stated, shred to their mags until their trigger finger bleeds. Very your insight at the moment, I am sorry to hear that. Sebastian, are you aware of this document? Like, did you, did, I imagine you've given a reason to carry it around and it was on your desk and stuff, and so you didn't know those nine people then. Nice, because very, very mindful, very near. Nothing about that, huh? Good people, wall dwellers, environmental hazard. Stan. <laughs> Stan. Let's have a look at Stan. When I say have a look at Stan, I didn't mean let's take a look at some drawings of Stan. Can can we like learn anything about him? Because he was standing in a wall. Like in a wall. That's that's like not normal, Sebastian. Can you give me any insight? Okay. What have you got to say? The divine we've seen. The mindscape. <laughs> I don't think I've read this one. J2123, codename the Mindscape, is an astral plane beyond our own border world. <gasps> border with <man. laughs> LRP is taken to the uh, to the J123, equipped with CM CCMM M cameras and proper radio equipment. Have described the plane as a white void um, with gigantic float floating gears in the distance. They also reported that their, their colors were inverted. 
that they could hear footsteps of others without being able to see anyone, and that an incident and uh, that an identical copy of uh, J1231 was seen floating within the same. Pictures back from J1231 with a CCMM camera show as much, except the cards. The phone version seems to only affect the eye, does not affect electronic equipment. You keep talking in times too speed, sorry, I don't like reading. Um, what was that referring to? If you don't mind me asking. J1231 is a white floating orb, measuring a fourth of diameter. The orb is constantly emitting a multitude of indescribable voices, and is constantly floating five sides of the ground. J1231 is sent to the back of the computer as seen, but it's currently unknown what's done. The point of J1231 is, or what process says, besides being equal and ultra interested in J1234. J1232 is a set of white glowing gears, and it's compared to the ones inside of J1233, but no near in size. He is constantly spinning heads around J1231. Wherever J1231 goes, the gears go to one. They don't seem to serve any new purpose. J1234, coded in the map on the mind state, is, as the, as the name suggests, the toilet of J1234. Uh, taking the appearance of a tall white humanoid with black eyes, J1234 irradiates a glow around, allowing it to be seen in the dark. It's certainly unknown if, if, if there is only one or multiple J1234 instances, but it is seen to be only one. J1234 has the ability to manifest and deform that's outside. J1234 is a blank white because of the radius of J1231. If J1231 is moved, J1234 moves along with it. Once J1234 enters the vision of someone, it will instantly be manifest. If the person observing J1234 is currently not in watching someone else, there's a small chance that the observer is taking the light of J1234. Unfortunately, CCTV cameras seem to have a similar experience with the observed by a person. Meaning that even if you're not observed by someone else, as long as the individual is with the CCTV camera's line of sight, may be taken. If J1234 is spotted in the room of CC observation, the statistical chance of being taken, as shown in testing, is only as low as 0.3%. So far, only two employees have been unfortunate enough to roll the 0.3 in the lotto. J13 can only activate J1234 taking them with them. Once one has been taken, there's currently no world, no current world. Can you hear them? Can you see them? Something is watching you. Was that fucking thing that was the, the radio that we were filling with? And is that radio? Is that radio having to be J1234? Because it's not mentioned in the story. Thank you, Sebastian. What else have we got? My analog horror Christmas tree. I haven't seen this one. Uh, Z2512, codename My Analog Horror Christmas Tree. Is the Christmas tree responsible for ruining Christmas? With its first recorded appearance being on December 25th, 1931. After causing 80 million four hundred and eighty-three thousand five hundred dollars in damage, the bodies of three of the three Christmas the three ghosts of Christmas, Scrooge, the reindeer had turned feral, covered in pine cones, fear of God. Analog horror BSH tape. Rudolph's nose was found 83 miles north from his corpse. Frosty's hat was stolen, teaming up with Skellington. Even the Grinch did not want to partake in the carnage. Shortly after, found decapitated. Whoville has been wiped off the face of the earth. <laughs> Nutcrackers had attacked. The express was found derailed. Since Nick has perished, Christmas has fallen. For now, the tip of the North Pole is to be considered lost media, and any remaining sleighs are to be shot down as fast as possible. It is vital. That no presents dropped from the no slaves are to be opened by anyone, and as the destruction would be indescribable. I, I like to read this one out. <laughs> that, that was a fun one. The Mask of Sadness. Sadness. Z96. Codename Mask of Sadness is a smiling theatre mask that, when worn, worn will take over the new new user and melt their body down to sentient meat paste. With its first recorded appearance being on September 2nd, 1666, Z96 was brought in and wore during a theatrical play. There's no other comedy mask around. The origin of Z96 is currently unknown, but that has been deemed irrelevant. After a former put on Z96 during an the play, it immediately began the most of process. Shortly after, Z96, Z96 had consumed 710 of 725 souls present, including the cast, crew, and the audience, which all became part of the mess. Z96 and Claude were out of the theater, tearing their way through the streets during this rampage. Z96 accidentally knocked a lit street lamp into a pile of hay, which quickly spiraled into an outer of fire. Before long, Z96 had, had trapped itself in the middle of a blazing inferno, burning a flesh bulb to nothing bash. The, ma the mask was found in the rubble uh, of the buildings four days later and stored inside a vault of Buckingham Palace, and then burned down because of this motherfucker. Z96 was not written down in history, but due to only theme living souls living to tell the story, with no one believing. 
The mosque was bought in 1984 <laughs> by Urban Shay during the state led auction after being found as survivors' diaries, which had heaped interest selling for $150,000 total. When worn by any species, human, animal, or corpse, and zombie sickle started assimilating it into a block of meat, it will continue and try to seek out other um, organisms to continue. Once enough size has been gathered, Z96 will seek out a safe place and then start to digest its new mass. It will continue to do so until it is killed by external forces. Despite the massive size of the it is merely flesh, it bleeds, it dies. Z96 is going to be kept in storage, only brought out during scorched earth tier missions. The proper way to use Z96 in the field is listed below. Capture an enemy as a prisoner, or retrieve an enemy's corpse. Pla place Z96 on its new host, then lead it to a different location where it is released and then can wreak havoc. Then that Z96 will its thing at the desired location of the duration. It should be noted that collateral damage and death to the local population is to be expected, but this is acceptable during these operations. Once the area has been cleared of hostiles, Z96 is to be killed by other shared operatives. They must be cleaned of mold and then returned to storage. Sadness. So it's kind of a mix of um, the the mask um, SCP, of course, and the living flesh SCP. I say, is that is that a fair analogy? Whooper, what do you think? I agree. I should get some board. Thank you, Sebastian. We have schizophrenia. Yay! <sighs> Z42 432 Codename Limited Time Imaginary Friend is a toy remote consisting of a button that, when pushed, summons a horrid creature at a fixed po fixed 40 studs distance from the individual that is always visible regardless of obstructions. With its first recorded appearance being in early 2020, Z432 was first appeared on sale in the convenience stores in New York. Designed by Funblocks, it was advertised as an anti-loneliness tool, promising to identify loneliness. As usual, the return address of every package leads to an empty shack in the middle of nowhere. After new reports of people seeing a horrific creature after using the product, an urban, urban shade mode, agents were eventually called to investigate and eventually found a Z432 instance. All other Z432 instances were quickly confiscated and brought, and brought to the black site to obtain and study. Later, a fake news story had published the events that had happened uh, that had taken place as mass hysteria. No executions were done, as anyone who had used a Z432 would simply be chalked up to uh, chalked up as an attention seeker. The fabricating space was listed. When Z432 was used, a voice emit from the remote congratulating the user for using it. Using the request, they enjoyed their next two days with a very own, real, not imaginary friend. Shortly afterwards, a grotesque creature, the referred to as Z431, I see, will appear 40 studs away from the user. Each individual, uh, each individual Z431 is invisible to others, even if they also had activated a Z432 instance. Despite appearances, Z321 will not attack individuals who use a Z42 instance. Z421 is harmless and will simply throw the individual from distance. It is always visible regardless of obstructions, but even if the even if an individual who has used Z-432 in a Z-432 instant walks up to a wall, Z-4321 will face threats as if it were as if it were there. Z-4321 will sometimes communicate with the affected individual. The things it says are most often not nonsensical. Z-4321 will uh, not respond to use they try to talk to it, and will sometimes cough using mid-sentences. The voice from the remote uh, and the creature itself have been, have been the same. After 40 hours, Z-4321 will de-manifest and tell Z-432 is on push again. Some employees have requested Z-432 instances for themselves. Seeing as Z-432 is such a physical threat, the requests have been approved. In the workspace, Z-432 is most commonly used to prank new employees, by those who find it the only fascinating, and by those who are lonely and simply the company of a lucky creature. Z432 has been no monetary value, and remotes uh, are instead of the anonymous auctions. Very interesting. Is it just schizophrenia then? Thank you, Sebastian. I think that's all the reading we had. Because I already read that one. Stan. Stan. Thank you, Sebastian.
Right. That was that was good fun. I need a drink probably, but I will be fine for now. Um Fancy some light reading. Uh, not right now actually. What's in my inventory? Every iron has its lung. <laughs> AI Summon Hmm Ready for anything An ocean of blood eyes in the sky Huh? What? Yeah We're in the void I think that one's better. It's got a nicer purple on it. Right. Um. I think I'm gonna wrap up. Um. Roblox there for now. Honestly. Uh, so I'm gonna go back onto my face. And um. What's a what's a what's a funny thing we can do for twenty minutes? Fuck it. We're doing Celeste again. Because I really feel like it. Done. Sweet. Megan Echo goes hard. Dear me. You think stream is dying? That that's fine. It's like 20 minutes left and like maybe one person is watching you. <laughs> I don't know, I haven't actually opened the stream manager. Three viewers, sweet. All right, what were we up to? We were hunting for things as we climbed up here. Shiro, you son of a bitch. Always chapter three. I think it would actually be helpful, I don't know, if we could like if we checked which one which ones we had, so let me let me just quickly do that. Oh I've spent forty hours in file as well. Where was it? I think it was We'll, go, we'll, we'll run this whole bit because we've missed a bunch of... Yeah, it was in the room before. Apparently we've missed a bunch of strawberries here. I continue to be very good at this game. Yay! Oh, it is here. So the first and last one. 
Very cool. We'll see if I, we can find any berries in the meantime. That's a tough berry. That's mean. It'd be helpful if I knew how to dash, honestly. Come on, James, where's your timing? I guess it's thrown off because of the wind. Fuck! I had that. There we are. Easy berry. What can I say? Yeah, especially for the level, it's it's a very cool idea for it. The fuck kind of berry is that? Fucking hell. There's nowhere to grab. <laughs> this berry is insane. Like, where are you grabbing? Hmm. See if a uh, like direct side dash saves it. Wrong way. Too early and wrong way again, but that's fine because I just, I'm just better. I'm better at the game. I'm better at the game. That's all there is to it. Yeah, 
Yippee! Okay, I can't go down. Very cool. Am I dumb? Yes. Yes is the answer. Hell yeah. So give me my berry. There's no way that's a whole check. dumb? Do I suck at the game? No, it's just the weather's throwing me off. Trust. Oh, that's, that's a funky one. That's a really, really mean one. Good news, I was able to grab the wall. Bad news, it was the wrong side of the wall. Good news, I managed to do it. Easiest game of my life. That was the easiest berry in existence. Mm -hmm. I know it's supposed to reset off the wall. Easy. No worries. Come on. Come on. Am I skill issued? Yes, I yes I am. Skill issue. Ding dong. Head straight in the crystals. Boy. 
It's too good. Oh, I need to get, I need to grab the wall. That was a fun one. Oh, do I do I suck? The answer is no. I'm the best who never mind it. The answer is yes. I don't need the second dash there. Because I need it there. I remember I hated this. This one sucked for me. I understand, of course, but... I'm just better. Never mind. Oh, you see that movement? That's why I'm the best. Right, where is that? That last berry must be hidden somewhere off screen then. There's no way they'd put it this late on. Am I f I'm fumbling. I'm fumbling. Heavy fumbling. Man. They, in fact, put it this far. Okay, game. That's not very nice of you. We're gonna we're gonna check this. This is not helpful. This is not giving me the information I need. Because I need that berry. That berry is very is very important to me. I'm going nuts. It's basically the end of stream. <laughs> 
I'm sorry for everyone who has to witness this descent into madness that I go into. I have gone into, sorry. I held onto the side of it. Aren't you guys proud of me? Oh. My game sense is otherworldly. That's doable. Completely doable. Never mind. What do you guys think of me adding in like a never mind emote? Because that is something I'm saying a lot, honestly. I have to get this berry. My life demands that I get <laughs> get this berry. I suck at the game. <laughs> Isn't that a wondrous revelation? game since it's no longer all there. <laughs> Not the right thing to do there. That was not the right thing either. <sighs> Come on, James. <laughs> Never mind. Where's the jump? Fuck, man. Generationable, generational fumble. Generational fumble. Astronomical fumble. You don't fumble much harder than that.
Am I cooked? Multiple minute chat delay? That's wild. I would suggest if that is a problem, just reloading because I've had stuff like that where my stream lags a bit and then all of a sudden I'm behind by a little quite a bit and then reloading usually helps me get some minutes back. Actually throwing. I would console you, but it would be no use. Since I'm literally operating in the past for you. I mean, chat's always operating in the past. Except when they do sound alerts, in which case they have... Fucking epitaph from, from, King's, from King Crimson. Yes! We did it! Oh my god. That berry was annoying. To say the least. And that's all of the berries in this in the last in the last bit. That was oof. Oof man. That was rough. We might as well make it to the summit. Never mind. By the skin of my teeth. Ah, oh, so close. One. Music fades out.
We made it again. We actually did it. I can't believe it. Wow, it's so beautiful. Look how far we've come. I'm glad I got to see this before I... Well, before I... I right. When we leave the mountain, you won't be able to talk to me anymore, or... At least not like this. Yeah. I know that we need to go home eventually. But... It, it'll be scary to lose this body. You'll still exist, though. You were part of me before we came here. Yeah, I know. But I'm gonna... I'm gonna have to depend on you to listen to me, even if I can't talk to you in person anymore. I just can't go back to how it was before, before the mountain. Don't worry, I can't go back to that either. I really want us to work together from now on. I believe you, but I'm still nervous. So, now what? Let's just enjoy this for a bit. Yippee! We did the game again! <laughs> Old lady. Oh yeah, we have like, tons more berries now. Welcome back! James, did you make it to the summit? Yeah, we did. It was incredible. Beautiful, isn't it? I didn't think it'd be worth it, but it totally was. I should have given you my phone so you could have taken the ultimate selfie. Woo! Good evening, everyone. What are you doing here? A little bird told me there was to be a party. RSPV by bird. Positively magical. But if I'm unwelcome, I shall take my leave. Please stay, Mr. Oshiro. It's good to see you. You know, this is the first time I've seen you outside that hotel of yours, Oshiro. I'm glad you made it. Jane here is baking us a pie with all the strawberries she's been collecting. Ooh, that's wonderful, Miss Jane. I haven't had strawberry pie since I was a kid. This is going to be amazing. <laughs> Don't get your hopes up. She's not much of a baker. <laughs> you also said I wasn't much of a mountain climber. True. I can't promise it'll live up to the hype for you. But I'll try my best. So? How does it taste? Look at those strawberries. <laughs> Jane. This is the best thing I've ever tasted. <laughs> Come on, be honest. He's right? He's right, dear. This is delicious. It's truly magnificent, Miss Jane. A symphony for the taste buds. Can I take partial credit for this? Wow. Thanks, everyone. I really, I worked really hard for it. 40 hours in safe file. <laughs> and there's still 15 more berries. 12k deaths. That, that's, a, that's quite a few deaths. Um, so if we have calculator real quick um 40.5 divided by 12 3 2 5 that gives us a number that's not really that helpful because i've done it in hours and not seconds um yeah that that yeah 
Good stuff. And that will wrap up stream. That was a lot to do. Um, is there something a bit calmer we can listen to? I don't know if that counts. Bam, bam. We'll give this a listen. Because it is similar, but not the same. Can I bake a strawberry pie in IRL? Oh, I can give it a go. Cooking stream, not not pie. Stupid. <laughs> oh. Words fail me. What's what are they up to? Which is special events? Oh my god, karaoke. Right, so we can we can go. We have a few options here. We can go watch karaoke. We can go watch Niari uh, with her shenanigans. We can go say hi to Scurry. We can go say hi to Cabby. We have a bunch of options. What? Who would we like? Who would we like to? Who would we like to raid today? I just refused to work, and then it decided to work. <laughs> just very inconveniently yeah um, we could even raid sax bond yeah um, thank you everyone for <laughs> joining me this stream it's been a stream of all time to be honest um, yapping about mun is not something I expect to do often but I was able